So you're off to the off to the mighty beast today yeah. for your FA Cup See game. See the mighty swans. That's the swans versus the beast. What do you reckon? You got you up for the cup? Yeah, we're up for it. We're hoping we're going to do it, but uh, draw will do us, and then back at Wheatley yeah. Park, good deal on the massive. So what do you reckon of Marcus? He's obviously a big Brentford legend. Oh yeah, yeah, he's, yeah. he's doing well. Enjoy it. He's doing well. Doing very well at the swans. So go on, give us a, give us a prediction. Two all. Two all. One one. So back to back to the Wheatley. Yeah, two. back to the massive. Yeah, and um, yeah, what, yeah. what do you reckon? How many, how many do you reckon you expect him today to take in terms oh, of Oh, about 8,000 down there. 8,000. Yeah, yeah oh, no right. worries. Be shoehorning you in there. Well, yeah, that's it. Have a good night. All right. Yellows! 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 Give us a prediction, lads. One nil. One nil stains. Louis, 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 Brentford legend, off to see the Brentford versus Staines clash today. What do you, what do you reckon? What's the, what's the score going to be today? Well, I don't, obviously, I hope it's not... Um, it's a difficult game, really, because Staines have got nothing to lose. It's a, it's a big game for them, which obviously puts pressure on uh, you know, Brentford's players. But if Brentford settled down early and get an early goal, I think it could end up... Been not a good day for Staines, you know. Kind of slippy, certain slicky conditions, like it'd make it like a classic 70s match, well, like you played in. Well, not really, because the the grounds are so much better now than when we played. You know, um, the amount of rain we've had now, we probably the game would have been off. You know, in our days, but um, you know, nowadays the pitches are so good. I mean, Staines is in brilliant condition, you know, and. Um, they're you know, obviously not, not a league club either. But, so you're going for a Brentford win or you reckon Staines can oh, do it? Oh, I'd, I'd obviously go for a Brentford win, but um, stranger things have happened, you know. Uh, and uh, I'd be disappointed, obviously, if Brentford got beat. But yeah. I hope it's not a, a really bad time for Staines, you know. Yeah. <laughs> Make sure you email Line or Oasis. Why should people why should people email? Because we need a ground and it's important. Um, we need to make our voices heard. So when they gotta do it by? Um, ASAP. Um, the date for the meeting's on 5th of December, but we need to get those complaints. So any 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 information they just need to go to the bias website. Yeah? It's on the bias website, it's in the leaflet, please do it. It's not a done deal, that's the most important thing. So we're here to see the mighty bees play stains. What's, what's your prediction today? I think we'll win. Brentford will win it. I think it'll be easy. Because I mean, the stains will be fired up for it. Pretty, we'll pretty strong team he's put out. Yeah, I think it's, he means it. I'm taking it seriously. Very, yeah. yeah. So is it, do you think this is a bit of a distraction or you, you, you're, a, you're a traditionalist? Uh, I, I think a win is a good confidence no matter what. And they've got to keep the winning pro process going. So if they lost this one, it could have knocked the confidence of six, like at Derby. Some people are saying, like, when we, you know, we played Chelsea last year, but it was a bit of a distraction from the league, and it ultimately cost us. Do you believe in that, or who knows? But for a crossbar, it wouldn't make any difference, would it? No. <laughs> Easy stuff. Stay is not offering much. We need to we need to give a bit of, bit of a uh, bit of uh, game time to a few of the other strikers. Second half, do you reckon? Yeah, I think I think you'll bring you'll make three changes. I think Uwe team selection today was absolutely brilliant. He kept the core of the team with three up. We played okay. Fantastic goal from Harris. A bit too good. We don't want the hardest thing that. And yeah, let's see Grig. Let's see a couple of the other ones. And Logan. Back to them, uh, yeah, after about 15 minutes, but all you can do is win, and we're winning. Bit goals to be had here, isn't there? Well, I'm not sure with our strikers, but, but yeah, they're, they're Stains, Stains on. Stains on. You had a good afternoon? Oh, yeah, brilliant, brilliant. brilliant. Yes. yes, although we live in Stains, so a little bit of me is a little bit, but no. Very, so, what was brilliant. the best of the five? What, 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 do you, what do you think is the best goal? Kadeem Harris's. Yeah. Definitely. That was pretty special, wasn't it? Yeah. Could you have scored a better one? No. <laughs> <laughs> You'd like to have scored. What did you think of the match? Yeah, very good match. Uh, made hard work a bit early on, but penalty changed things, I think. And uh, comfortable 3 0 at half time. Third goal was uh, one of the best goals I've seen here for a long time. Um, 
He's made a massive difference to this team, hasn't he, Harris? Yeah, I haven't been to uh, all the games this season, the ones I've seen him, but he's been a very good player. Yeah. Strong Brentford team today, did you expect a little bit more? Uh, no, he's made a couple of changes, so Jake Reeves came in and uh, played the whole game and did quite well. Uh, the youngster, I think, is going to do well in the future. Uh, no, I think he did right in the team picking today. How about the forward forward line? You know, we, did, we didn't look too threatening up front, did we? Uh, no. Uh, I'm, I'm not a big lover of Brick. Uh, I missed the Sheffield United game at the beginning of the season, so I've never seen him score goals. Uh, Donald said I think he's wasted out on the right, and I keep saying that to whoever I'm talking to. Uh, no, not the, not the best uh, forward line. Ultimately, today was just about getting through to round two, wasn't it? Yeah. Another home... Uh, draw would be great and then we get a big team in the third round. So you, 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 do you see the FA Cup as a distraction or are you you're a traditionalist? Uh, I like the romance of the FA Cup but it would be nice to get in the championship. Uh, yeah. Staines didn't really live up to this no, kind of FA no, Cup no, giant. No, they were particularly uh, um, a good side for the um, conference sale. Um, Keeper, I thought, was uh, left wanting a few times. Um, but they had a couple of shots, and they just missed the uh, post in the second half. So all in all, you're a happy beat? Yeah, happy beat today. Yeah. But that was pretty easy, wasn't it? Uh, yeah, it's pretty straightforward stuff. You know, a bit, bit dodgy with the FA Cup, but at the end of the day, it was a position. So, could you, what, you know, any comments about the team selection or, you know? Uh, I was a bit shocked, uh, it was pretty much a first team, you know, uh, I thought I was expecting to see a couple of other young lads, but, uh, you know, win's a win, next round, bring it on. Will Grigg came on, didn't really do a lot, the story of the season for Will Grigg so far, isn't it? but, uh, you know, I trusted Uwe. So, it was just about, just about getting through to the second round today, really, yeah, wasn't yeah, it? Was, yeah. Staines didn't... Didn't, they won't. They won't look back at this as anything. that's a special nah. day at all, will they? No, not really. I mean, it's it's good for them to come here and play a game of football. But at the end of the day, I can't really say much more than that. We won.